about financial tips. So normally students now who are studying in college they tend to overspend. We have invited a guest over, Mr. Kim, to give us opinion about money saving tips. Okay, good morning. Okay, thank you for inviting me. So most students nowadays they tend to overspend. Can you share with us how one student can spend but save money at the same time? A student can save tons of money if they have a knowledge but you know to gain a knowledge they need, you know, they can gain it from, you know, reading or ask some, you know, experienced people about money. Okay. First of the all, okay. What if the students overspend their budget? Okay. How can we avoid that? Okay. If you want to avoid that, we should make, a, you know, a budget for our spending. Okay. Let's take, you know, let's take an example. Okay. Uh, students wants to have you know a smartphone and compare he needs a book you know so which one is more important for you for me a student needs a book more because for revisions and assignments and projects so okay you know the answer okay this is what we need and this is what we want okay a student needs to find something okay needs to have something they only need not what they want so if they can keep that, uh, keep up with that, so I think they can save their money. Mm, now I see. So okay. we should splurge less on the expenses. Um, how about students who have budget but they still want to save money? Okay. If they still have a budget, okay. Let's take a look, okay. I have, you know, this is smartphone and there is another smartphone. Okay, this around, this price around 550 have the same you know, quality as a 1,000 ringgit phones. Okay, I think if they, if he or she have a budget, I think I prefer he or she take bought a uh, you know a cheaper one because I think it's have the same function. You know, you don't need to spend more. Okay, while you can you know not less going up. Okay, you so can spend less. Students, they just go out less. So yes. Yes. So these rewards are just so tempting. Um, let us conclude today's discussion. Thank you for your time, Mr. Kim. Okay, you're welcome. Based on the case given, we have learned about money saving tips. So let us save money together.